A very good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the webinar today. My name is Christus, and I'm from the Manage Engine Password Manager Pro team. So as you can see on the screen right now, these are the master classes that we conducted this year uh, till October 24th, which was the last class. And uh, these sessions are available. Uh, like if you have missed any of these, you can actually directly go into like Google and search for Password Manager Pro Masterclass and you will get the links. So you can directly click on the link to view our masterclass, the past masterclasses, which are uploaded immediately. So today, the 7th of November, we have the 7th masterclass in our series, which we are going to talk about the automation in your DevOps pipeline and application communication without credential embedding is the topic for today. So very interesting topic, right? So I'm just going to discuss about a few use cases and few examples of how you can programmatically retrieve credentials right out of Password Manager Pro as and when it is needed, okay? Uh, so with no further delay, uh, let me start the webinar, uh, the, the topic for today. And also I just want you to see the next two topics are also very interesting. One is like how do you can integrate our solution with other vendors or other uh, uh, applications and you also have the IT security compliance journey, which would give you a brief about the reports and audits and compliance reports that we have in Password Manager Pro. So that's pretty much it. Let me just jump into the masterclass, uh, the today's topic, automation in your DevOps pipeline and application communications without credential embedding. So that says like without credential embedding, which means what as developers, what practice that we follow in our day-to-day -day, uh, work or job, like what we do is we build scripts, we write codes, and that is what we do as a developer, right? So during this period, like we also try to create multiple automation jobs using like various uh, third-party tools or DevOps we have these days that we can create too many automation tools. And uh, so what we are going to discuss is hard coding, how you mitigate the risk of hard coding the credentials in the script files or the application codes. So you don't, it, it is not required uh, to hard code the passwords, the privileged passwords there, which would in turn cause a, like a major risk to the organization if it goes into wrong hands. The first main uh, threat. And the second one is, what if the password changes that you have embedded in the, the, the in the script file, what if you change the password? You have to sit, go to each and every place the password is being used, and you have to rotate the passwords. I have seen per like customers directly, like so that is part of my uh, responsibility. I talk to customers and listen to them, like how do, what are the practices that they follow? So without deploying Password Manager Pro, they had like around 15, uh, like they had passwords like from 15 years to 20 years, it wasn't changed because it might affect something. Like you have passwords in the web config file, it would affect the complete configuration and the, like the, the particular job will be completely affected if you change the password. So you have to make sure, you have to first find out and make sure you change the password everywhere it is being used, which is uh, again, a very hectic, task to IT administrators and the developers. So we have uh, used like leveraged our own REST API and SSH CLI API to eliminate password hard coding in any critical applications or any code or any script files. So first today we are going to talk about the RESTful API, which is a very easy API to be deployed uh, in, in any environment and also it is supported fully extensively by Password Manager Pro. So to enable this, first what we have to do is, we have to create API user accounts in Password Manager Pro. So to create an API user account in Password Manager Pro, so I'll be toggling between the presentation and Password Manager Pro so that uh, it'd be easy for me to show you what exactly I'm doing. So right now I'm logging as a human user into Password Manager Pro. So you have to just listen to this term, which I said, 
human user. I'm logging in as a human user into Password Manager Pro. So with this user, I'll be able to retrieve all the passwords that I own and I share to the users, right? So, so here are my passwords. I click on the passwords and I can just retrieve the password. So this is what I do. I'll use this password to like any operation that I have to perform, I'll use this password. So you have the password stored in a secure vault, in a centralized vault. You can log in at, uh, to it any time to retrieve the passwords as a human. What if the applications need the password? Like what, how do they take it out from our, uh, on, from our database? And that is how we leverage APIs to it, right? So for that, we have to first create API users in Password Manager Pro. So I create an API user. I'll type the username, host name, full name, and email address for an API user. The next thing I have to do is I have to enable the auth token. Okay, so REST API authenticate through an auth token and the host name that from which the request is being raised. So you have to have this information so that you copy it out of your auth token and put it in a notepad safely, right? So once you have that in your notepad, So you have to put it in the notepad and just save. So make sure that you have that saved the, 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 the auth token. So once you save it, now you can trigger any operations or trigger any uh, functions to Password Manager Pro through the API and with this auth token. So what are the functions that we support from Password Manager Pro is, you just simply go here, API, REST API is where you find the documents. And this is pretty much it. It is completely everything that you can perform with an API user. So if the API user is an administrator in Password Manager Pro, you'll have pretty much like a complete control to the API access through which Password Manager Pro can be populated with any configuration or any accounts or any servers. You can do it right from Password Manager Pro. So you can see the complete list right here that in front of you for which the API is supported. So it's like close to 53 we have for which the API can be leveraged to get out the data from Password Manager Pro. So this is how we uh, write the REST API command. So I'm gonna quickly show you uh, like how do we create a new user. So you can see the input data and all the information that the technician has provide provided with the policy and every information. And when the user shows his uh, mother, uh, when the user shows his, uh, like the user, uh, he has to create an API user in Password Manager Pro. So the API user is already created. So, and you have to specify the resource name, account name, the resource type, the password, that has to be passed along with the API to the user and with the appropriate auth token. So how it actually communicates the REST API is that, so you have the API user and you have the PMP server. API user is nothing but a host from which the request is raised. Like you want to add a new resource or you want to retrieve a password out of a resource, API host is what it does, the information. So you have the auth token there and it sends a request to the Password Manager Pro server. Password Manager Pro listens the request and sends back the response to the user. And this is how it functions. So the RESTful API can be used via HTTP POST, GET and PUT requests. So, and also the parameters in the request should be form URL encoded. And the auth token is mandatory for all API calls because that is the authentication factor that REST API actually uses in order to authenticate and fetch or release the data out of Password Manager Pro. So, just gonna have like a few examples I'm gonna show you right now. And the main major functions of the RESTful API are get, put, and post, which we are going to discuss today. And apart from that, if you go to our help documentation, so there is like, uh, like many options available. You want to delete a user, create a new API user itself, you can do an API, create a new SSH key. So pretty much all functions, we are trying to increase the list in the future. All functions will be available here that can be leveraged. A few examples that I have built using PowerShell, which will give you a better idea about how the it works, right? So first thing is like you have to put, 
which is to add a new resource in Password Manager Pro. And this would be the thing that you will use in order to add a new resource in Password Manager Pro with the new password, recent type local, recent password expired, and all this information. Just in case you want to get the information about the password that you have executed using this script, you can use the get option that is present right here so that it gets only the password and nothing else, like no other data is validated and received to the REST API guest. And the third one is REST API post, which means if you want to change a password of one account to a different account, uh, this would help you. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely sorry. So, uh, or like the post, the put method changes the password. Okay, so if you want to rotate the password of any particular account, even that can be done in a bulk through an API, and you have to use the put method in order to do it. And post method will help you to add new resources with all the information you provide. Resource name, account name, and all such information can be provided right here in Password Manager Pro. And I have few more examples. I can share it with you. So if you need, like with the Python REST API, I can share it. Or so just drop me an email to Christus at manageengine.com. So it's very simple, Christus, which is my name at manageengine.com. Or you can also send it to support at passwordmanagerpro.com. So I have a few examples, and also I have a few more uh, apart from this. So I'll just uh, like share it to you with an email. If you just need any information, I'll be more than happy to give it to you. So this is how you do a PowerShell script and how you add all the data. So using the same examples that is available in the uh, help documentation, just go here, API and REST API. That should give you all the information you need. And the next is SSH CLI API that we have or uh, that can be leveraged for Linux environments. Uh, so like CLI-based API that retrieves passwords out of Password Manager Pro. So here it has only one function, which is it retrieves passwords out of Password Manager Pro. Okay. And uh, so going to the next important topic, an interesting topic uh, we have for today, which is the DevOps integration, DevOps support, the CI CD platform integrations that we have with Password Manager Pro, how easy it is to deploy. So we have Ansible, Chef, Jenkins and Puppet, which can be default integrated with Password Manager Pro. So what does these tools actually do? So they are automation tools, okay? So this is a, that comes into the CI CD pipeline to, to have a job, a batch job or any job automated, right? So like you have like a thousand servers that has to be deployed sequentially and uh, you're, you can just create a script or, or you can just create a plugin or with Ansible or Jenkins, and you can just have this uh, thing to just run and create or deploy service. Like it continuously does it, and also it continuously has to integrate it with any other applications that is required. That's what the actual purpose of this DevOps are uh, uh, tools, right? So what we help you out here, how, how, what way we integrate it here with Password Manager Pro is, we help you with a direct plugin that you can use it on these platforms. So the plugins are available in our website in our help documentation. So you have to just go here and uh, integrations, CACD platform integrations and all the plugins required information is available right here, okay? So today I'm just going to show you how we can just uh, test this or how we can just leverage or you can use it with Jenkins, the Jenkins plugin, how we can use it. So the first thing is to enable. So first we saw for API, you have to create an API user in Password Manager Pro and you have to do the, all the REST API stuff with the API user. Whereas with the DevOps plugin, the Jenkins, you have to first enable the integration in Password Manager Pro and then you have to install and enable the plugin in Jenkins. So in Password Manager Pro, you will have an option if you go to the admin tab and you see the CI CD platform. And you have all the four. So what I have to do is I have to just click enable and you see uh, the auth token here. So you have to copy this again and use it. And any user for whom a password is shared or owned, you have to assign that user here. For example, you have someone called Steve and you want to have Steve's password, who's the developer, and uh, Steve's password, uh, all the passwords shared with Steve, 
you need it through the API, through the through the Jenkins. Uh, you can have the username as Steve and with the auth token, so that it authenticates at, as this user into Password Manager Pro to retrieve data. Okay, and after you copy this, all you need to do is just open Jenkins. Go to Jenkins, and I'm going to log in right now. Right, and after that, you have to just say Manage Jenkins, where you will get the configuration configure system option. And you have to put the peer password manager for URL right here with the auth token. Just save and apply. And the next thing that you have to do is go back and uh, you have to just click uh, a new item and create a new item. So I already have one called test that was already built. Okay. So I'm going to open this. And you can see the build. Uh, so you have to just say build now. Uh, with the information that you have provided so basically what I will do is if I go back here to Jenkins a new item I'm sorry I go to Jenkins manage Jenkins I say configure system I provide the uh, password manager per URL as well as the auth token right here okay and after that I have to fetch the information that I need and that information will be present right here. So if I go to the test, okay, I click on workspace and uh, okay, so let me click on configure, sorry. So when I click on configure, here is where you provide the, the values, that is the password manager for values with the resource name, account name, and you have the password manager per audit uh, attribute, which is password, and environment variable, which is PASSWD1. So this can be anything. And I just write a very simple thing, which is like echo password, one password, two notes and notes, the DNS name. So these are the informations I want to fetch out of password manager pro. So I just write a small thing and I just do a build. So I have it already built. So I'm just going to open this and uh, and open uh, and I'm going to say console output and I get the information that I need testing notes with the password testing notes and test at one two three with the resource type and all information so whichever I need I put it as the attribute there as a value there from which I can take an output right out of password manager pro so the plugins for this is available right here in password manager pro you have to go here open jenkins and you have the plugin right in front of you here which says first download the plugin and after that there is another important step that you have to follow is that you have to import the ssl certificate of password manager pro because both the applications talk to each other over the ssl path and you have to provide the ssl certificate into password manager pro and inside the ansible server in order for both the applications to communicate with each other right so these are the list of pmp attributes that you can pick it up and you can just retrieve the information using jenkins similarly it is the same method that we have to configure for ansible as well so enable ansible integration in password manager pro and activate the plugins in ansible playbook So playbook is nothing but an automation schedule. I hope you know that. Uh, so execution of these playbooks so often uh, that it does not require user credentials and uh, and uh, privileged passwords, API keys. Or they they would need. Uh, I'm sorry. They would need all these information, privileged passwords, API keys, and access co tokens to interface with other systems or applications or services in the environment. So in most DevOps environment, the main problem is storing the credentials in plain text with playbooks uh, to s enable smooth execution without service delays, uh, which can lead to many security and management issues. And we have to mitigate that using Password Manager Pro is our motive. Similarly, we have Chef and Puppet integration, which is also available in Password Manager Pro. Uh, 
So what this plugin helps you is also to improve security on the chef and uh, and the puppet uh, environment. So once the plugin is imported into Chef, the PMP plugin can fetch credentials and account information directly from the Password Manager Pro Vault, as we saw like for Jenkins or Ansible. It does it similarly for Chef and Puppet as well. And upon retrieval, it can be used for any action, such as connecting to a remote host, for example. Uh, so also, you can rotate the passwords regularly in Password Manager Pro. So you don't want to wait for 15 years or 20 years with the, with the same passwords. No, it is not a good practice. So you have to rotate the passwords periodically, and you have to all have all these automation tools to retrieve the latest passwords from the vault is the actual use of this particular feature with APIs and the uh, the DevOps, the CI CD integration. So we are uh, uh, like uh, researching more uh, such uh, automation tools, and uh, those will be available soon in Password Manager Pro. If you have any suggestions that you want to give us, if you want to see any new automation tools that has to be implemented, please feel free to drop us an email. Just go to your mailbox and type an email to Christus at ManageEngine.com with which you want to see. And also, like, or you can drop an email to password manager pro support at manageengine.com, which we will give you all the required information. And like, we will try to implement that in password manager pro. Okay, you have any questions, you can also drop me uh, uh, to my email. So now it is the questions time. If you have any questions, participants, please just drop it in the questions panel. I'll try to answer those. So let's wait for the questions, some interesting questions. Please go ahead. And you want the API document or API examples, feel free to drop me an email and I will share it with you. So it's again like Christus at ManageEngine.com and Password Manager Pro hyphen support at ManageEngine.com. Is the email address that you have to use for the examples, the API examples that you want. So we are researching more on this automation things like uh, with all the new latest tools because uh, this is how it is changes from the traditional PAMP with uh, more and more automation and robots coming in. So we are actually like uh, researching more on this uh, area. If you have any suggestions, participants, please feel free to just, like share it with me. Uh, so we'll make sure like we best implement all that uh, in our solution. Right, so it looks like there is no questions uh, for today. Um, so like I'm going to uh, stop the session. Uh, if you have any questions that may come up or if you need any assistance in setting it up, please uh, feel free to drop us an email and we will help you to get it configured as how you want it with the DevOps or API implementation, please do drop us an email and we'll help you out with it. And thank you so much for uh, your participation, all the attendees. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me and have a wonderful day ahead. Take care, bye-bye.